Congratulations! Congratulations! Yeah, good job! Wait, you think I'm congratulating WoW classic release <laughs> announcement? <laughs> <laughs> I'm congratulating myself! <laughs> I promise you, I will be active on YouTube, and here we go! Look at all these haters! They doubt me! Do doubt! Doubt? It's so hard to say that word! Doubt! Doubt! Doubt me no, doubters! Okay, fine! Congratulations! Good job, Blizzard! Right now, this vanilla classic is trending! And me, as a active YouTuber, I gotta jump on the bandwagon. Choo choo, motherfuckers! You know, to stay relevant, get some new supporters on my Patreon page. Speaking of my Patreon page, after my last video, I got three new patrons. I'm so proud of this community. Well, unfortunately, I didn't get my beta classic, unlike other content creators. Fuck that shit, dude. I'm hitting the wrong buttons. I, I get destroyed, man. I, I don't know what to do. Can't win a single duel. Dude, he just uses his mana. He just uses his mana. You might ask yourselves, but why? Of course, Blizzard is not going to give anything to a straight male who says faggot. So instead of generic level 30 classic gameplay, I will tell you a story. Story that will bring us back all the way to the times when you could say, ha. <laughs> You're such a downer dog. Holy shit, I'm actually massive, bro. Dude, you are fooling yourselves if you think you wouldn't suck my cock. <laughs> Why are you gay? What's up, everybody? It's critical. Let me turn on the lights so you can see me better. Better? Look at this fucking bar. Honestly, I think this is the perfect male body. Look at his back. Look at his arms. Look at my ass. I mean, this was supposed to be a vanilla throwback video. But my ass surely will bring me at least one new Patreon. Surely, bro. What, what the fuck is going on here? Maybe I make this a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger, bro. You know what rhymes with bigger? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Stop! Let me just do one more thing, then we can start, bro. Holy shit, bro. Professional World of Warcraft YouTuber. I got the WoW merch, bro. I am Anduin Rin. And I Rücksichtslos bis ins Grab hinein! World of Warcraft Vanilla Classic is coming back August 27th. Congratulations! Congratulations, Blizzard! Let's pop the bottle of champagne, shall we? You think I'm kidding? Look at this, bro. Oh shit. Okay, this is a little bit heavy, but I'm a pretty powerful man. Holy fuck. Oh shit! What the fuck? Alright, definitely no champagne. Oh, we got some beer, bro. Fine. This is fine. Champagne? I'm not a fucking fag. Oh. The best way to do these kinds of videos when you do a throwback in gaming is to actually speak over screenshots that I have from that time. But there is a, a, a slight problem that I encountered when it came down to that part. I lost all my vanilla TBC and Leech King screenshots in one uh, little accident. Oopsie! It was like eight years ago. I was with my first girlfriend ever in this room and my mom was in room next to this one. She was literally behind the door. So whatever sound we made, she heard, right? And <laughs> I don't need to tell you what sound she was making. Oh, peel up, peel up. I was smashing that pussy. You can't even fuck me. I don't want my mom to hear her pussy farting so what i did was turned on my pc and i played the music loud right the oldest trick in the book the music was playing i was fucking great night one problem though outside there was like hugest storm ever lightnings from the sky so what happened was a fucking lightning hit the tree in my backyard and guess what my pc and all my vanilla screenshots were on that PC, on that hard drive. <sighs> so they all died that night. Oh, with my girlfriend's pussy. <laughs>
Alright boys, so Vanilla WoW, it was released in 2004, but for us European apes, spring of 2005. Back then in 2005, I was 12 years of age, low boy. I didn't have a PC at home, obviously. All my gaming I did in a local internet cafe. That was like the biggest attraction of our little village. I was one of the youngest kids, I still remember that place. Inch perfect. I'ma just keep all the days before WoW. All the days we played D-Day, Warcraft 3 on Battle.net, original Dora. I'ma just fast forward to the exact date when I first saw World of Warcraft. I have a brother. <laughs> I don't know how old he is. <laughs> oh shit. I just hope he's not watching this video. I think he's five years older than me. So at that time he was a teenager. I walked into that place and I saw him playing this new game. So I turn my head around and I'm like, nigga, I can't believe you've done this. Let's play Warcraft 3 on Battle.net, bro. So he turned over his shoulders and gave me a little smirk. <laughs> Go away, kid. So I came over to his PC and I saw this new game that I'd never seen before. Character being controlled from the third person and that automatically turn on the, the curiosity in me. 12 years old brain was just exploring a totally new dimension. It's like when I tried mushrooms for the first time ever. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. No, 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 no. I've never tried mushrooms in my life. Drugs are bad. Don't do them. <laughs> and I swear to God, I was watching him play for three hours, bro. I fell in love. But the problem was, there was only one account for whole internet cafe, which means only one player at the time can play. 36. Oh, no. I'm not free to mess. I was 12 years of age, everyone can beat my ass, no way am I gonna get a playtime on that fucking account. So I told myself, I need a plan, bro. So what I did was, I started camping that place. That place was opening at... 10 a.m. every day. At 9.30, I was sitting on the stairs waiting for a guy to open the door, bro. Finally, after like two weeks of camping, I was the first kid to walk into that place and actually log into WoW account. <laughs> During those two weeks, I remember watching other people play and there was this one mega nerd, bro. Nowadays, all these fucking fake nerds are a joke. I mean, look at this guy. This guy is supposed to be a 2019 nerd. What the fuck, bro? Do you know how this nerd looked like? Long black hair, all sweaty and greasy, the fucking acne all over his face. Oh my god, I can still smell those acnes. <laughs> and I remember watching him, he used to play shaman. Which actually means nothing because I really couldn't tell the difference between classes. But then he got level 20. He learned a new spell called Ghost Wolf. You become a fucking wolf, bro. I told myself this is it. This is the class I'm gonna play. I wanted to be a wolf. <coughs> so I picked Shaman. Choose your fighter. Man, that was so exciting. Casting fucking lightning bolts, flame shocks, then you run out of mana after two spells, then you hit them with a fucking mace, some Game of Thrones shit, obviously uh, pre-season 5, because this new Game of Thrones season is absolute dog shit. It felt like watching fucking Avengers. Explosions, green screen, CGI, all I did was a fucking Spider-Man to shoot down uh, Daenerys. Even Anduin character development is better than Game of Thrones season 8. Fast forward to level 20, I click on Ghost Wolf, so I was running, oh god. I was running as a wolf, furiously, trying to find my first victim to, to run. And then I saw this Kodo. I remember the fucking Kodo looked me straight in the eyes and said, bring it on. <laughs> So I looked at him back and said, yippee motherfucker. And then I approached that Kodo and realized, you can't use abilities in Ghost Wolf form. Fuck this class, instantly logged off and deleted that dog shit character. But then, most amazing news of 2005 came to that internet cafe. Owner of that place, CEO, came 
and said, I bought you three more accounts, motherfuckers. Let's pop a fucking champagne, shall we? This is embarrassing. I can't open a beer can on my on a video. And from that day on, everything changed. I could literally play every day. So I logged into this new account and I made a warrior. Out of pure confidence, I named my warrior like this. Keep in mind, I was 12 years of age. I did capital I, warrior and lowercase l. I reached level 20 with my warrior as well. I was deep into 20s, like 26, 27. And then a little struggle happened. I ran out of money to pay for the playtime in that internet cafe. And if there is one word to describe my state at that time, I would use addiction. I, I don't know what to do. What should I do? My warrior sitting there, locked off for a week. My friends, every day in school they brag how they hit level 15, 20, 23. They're getting closer. And it all clicked one day when my best friend told me, Ding, I hit 28. On the ground he lays motionless in pain. He can see his life flashing before his eyes. I was no longer the best WoW player in my school. My best friend was higher level than My best friend was higher level than me. Holy shit, I'm getting emotional. I had to do something. What I did was <laughs> I stole money from my parents. <laughs> Bro, alright bro, listen, 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 I know you're gonna judge me now. P love stealing money from his parents, wow. Nice YouTuber, role model for uh, growing kids. Bro, I know it was wrong, but it had to be done, man. And two or three months went by, came this dreadful day. This is really hard for me to tell. I was playing WoW, my best buddy was next to me, and then he gave me this thousand stairs look so i turned around and guess what there was my dad standing behind me with the most terrifying body language and look he just looked at me and went out i already knew what's up i'm about to whip somebody's ass looking back now i honestly think my dad had uh, anger management issues i understand probably a lot of kids got beat up by parents but believe me my dad used to fuck me up like, we're talking about elbows, punches, he used to kick me in the back. Stomp on his head as he's unconscious. I remember, like, when I take my shirt off, I already saw at least few bruises. So he went out, I knew what's up. I followed him, I went home, he was sitting in the kitchen, and he told me, go to the backyard and pick a, a weapon, literally, pick a weapon which you want me to use to beat the shit out of you. There was a stick, but we're talking about a fucking stick, not a Harry Potter stick. We're talking about a, a lumber. There was a, a lumber. Next to it, there was a rubber band. And next to rubber band, there was... Zhica. How do you say Zhica? Uh, wire? Is it wire? Zhica. Yeah, wire. Wire, string, cord. You know, I'm a kid. I don't understand physics. Like, whatever, dude. Rubber band. Pretty soft, right? I mean, what can go wrong? So I went back to the kitchen. I gave him the rubber band. And he beat the f living fuck out of me for 20 minutes with that rubber band. Obviously for stealing money, he found out that I was stealing money and he just fucked me up, dude. <laughs> From that day, vanilla expansion ended for me. Until one really sad day. My dad died. My dad died in 2006. Few weeks after that, my grandpa wanted to cheer me up. He bought me a fucking PC. Congratulations, congratulations, Pilar. But my infinity gauntlet wasn't completed yet. I needed uh, two more stones. Internet connection and I needed a WoW account. After, you know, using my professional nego negotiating skills, I convinced my grandpa to get me internet connection as well. And I begged my mom to buy me wow forgive me mother for i have sinned she accepted my proposal and she bought me wow account i was super hyped walking into wow for the first time on my own pc in my own house let's go create a character and that's how i got my name pillow as well so i tried obviously with hitler 
You can't do Hitler. Pussy destroyer. Already taken. Best warrior. Already taken. And let's just call my warrior Pilaf. Because I had a plate of Pilaf. I was having a lunch next to me. Anyways, then it was just pure leveling. No add-ons. No bullshit. The only thing we had back then was Tot Bot. Then I finally got level 60. And now as level 60, I'm supposed to, you know, gear up, do some raiding. My first ever raid was Zulgurub. And let me be honest with you, it was absolute dog shit. We used to wipe on a fucking trash pool. Wipe on first boss like 16 times. That's a fucking 50 DKP minus! Yeah! Yeah! So I left the group shocked is this the game i fell in love with and then tomorrow i told my friend that story and he told me bro i got a solution for you why don't you try pvp and that's where i found myself playing against other players and you literally get promised loot bring back pvp vendors in bfa please from that day on i used to play every day pretty much my vanilla experience was leveling getting the shit beat out of myself with a rubber band for stealing money to play the game and random battlegrounds for grand marshal set never got the epic mount never done a single raid never kissed a man in my life I'm not actually sure if this was an exciting story or not. I mean, if I wanna stay active on YouTube... <laughs> I gotta shit post a little bit. I mean, that's it, my vanilla story. I hope it was a little bit entertaining and... Bye! What the fuck?